Um, I'm going to talk to you about digital leaders in a primary school setting today. Um, digital leaders is something that I um, found out through Twitter. After going to um, the BET show in January, I started learning about Twitter and started to follow lots of ICT coordinators around the country and the world. It's just been mind-blowing, actually, learning all these new things. And this is just one of the things that I've picked up from it. Um, it's an idea that I got from Ian Addison, who's someone I follow on Twitter, who um, blogs regularly what, about what he does in his primary school in ICT. And um, he started blogging at the beginning of the year about digital leaders and running them in his school. And so I started following it and started thinking, hey, this is quite a good idea, maybe I could do it. So um, digital leaders are basically a group of children who are IT competent, um, potentially you're gifted and talented, who um, come together in a group and work a little bit like a school council does in a school, so kind of pupil voice, and they work together with myself and the IT technician to look at ways that we can make IT better in our school. So um, we w I went about it by uh, approaching the year five and sixes and saying, hey, would anybody like to join our little group? Um, and explain to them what they would be doing. I'd kind of said to them, well, you'd be doing little jobs around the school, helping me out. And that's one thing that did originally capture my interest. You know, being an ICT coordinator, you're asked to change light bulbs, uh, to, you know, change printer cartridges, uh, all the way up to dealing with active directories on the server, you know, all those jobs, as well as being a full-time teacher. And so the idea Ian talked about of actually training children to be able to do the smart board problems, you know, when the teacher says, my computer isn't working, can you come and, you know, and it just really involves an FNFA and it's okay, or getting the children to change the printer cartridges or updating photos on the TV screen and just things like that. I thought, oh, this could really be good. Um, so I approached them about it and I had, um, had about 50 children out of five and six that were interested. And I set up a Google form online that asked them various questions. And I quite liked that. Again, that was Ian's idea because some children came to me and said, how do I get on it? Well, you know, may, maybe not quite ready to be a digital <laughs> leader. So that, that was already a good whittling down process. So the children went on, they had to fill out this form, and they were asked questions like, why would you like to be a digital leader? Um, and then I also asked them, you know, what ideas have you got for ICT? And that in itself was brilliant, you know, sort of getting 50 ideas from different children about what they would like to do and how they think IT should be at our school. So just some ideas there. So I managed to whittle it down to... I went for 12 children in the end. I thought that was quite manageable. I went for six year sixes and five year, uh, six year fives. Um, and we started and we met. And I kind of had a vision of what I wanted them to do, but also wanted them to lead the project. So they came with their ideas as well. So we've only been running it for a term, roughly. Um, and so we've done only a few things at the moment, but we've kind of got ideas of where we're going with it. So I'm just going to share with you some of those things we've done already. Um, one of the things they've been brilliant at is helping me trial out new equipment. And we've just bought these um, new netbooks for the infants. Brilliant. They're like fizz books. They're called fizz books. And they are uh, netbooks which you can turn around and use as a slate as well. And they are infant proof. They can be dropped to a certain height and you can write on them and spill water. It's brilliant. Um, but uh, you know what it's like. You get one computer set up, you think it's going to be brilliant, you wheel them into a classroom and then they all just go wrong because they're all running off the same network point and, you know, the teacher who, you know, bless her, if she isn't that competent at IT, won't go anywhere near that again and I don't really blame them. So to be able to have these guys to say, right, let's all turn them on in the same room, let's iron out all the problems was really helpful and um, they just love it, they think it's just fun but actually they're saying, well, this one isn't working because of this and we're sort of there trying to sort it out, so... That's been really good. Um, then leading on from that, we've then wanted to introduce those into the classroom. So, you know, traditionally I would train the staff, maybe in a staff meeting or a team meeting, and they would then teach the children. Actually getting the children straight in the classroom and showing them has been really good. This is just, just done this week, actually. So they went into the foundation stage classroom with the Fizz books and showed the children how to use it, which really was good. <laughs> One of the children was given a tick form and started writing assessment notes about the children, about how well they were doing with their ICT. So teachers said, brilliant, you know, send them back. They were found. <laughs> so that's great. And just this peer-peer learning has been fantastic, just really seeing them teach those children. And we've got um, ICT clubs planned for lunch times in Term 6. We've got three planned. So we've got a Bebop club for Foundation Stage. We've, got, we've just bought Purple Mash as a school, so um, they're going to do that for Year 1 and 2. And three and four, they're going to do a movie maker project based upon, I think it was a 
TV star or pod, I don't know, something like that. But um, they're planning it, they've had their school format, they've got a learning objective for each week, they've promoted their club, they've found the names of the children that want to get involved, so we're starting that soon. Um, this, I think, is my favourite thing that's happened because um, it's child-led completely. A year six digital leader came to me and said, I love using Alice, and it's kind of a game-designing, imaginary world creator thing. I haven't quite learnt about it yet, but it looks great. Um, and he said, I love using it. Can I please come and present it to the digital leaders? Can we start using it in school? So he came along. He's a digital leader, and he presented it and um, wanted to use it in school, which is brilliant. And we have, um, in Term 6, we run a university week, or weeks, where the juniors um, choose a university course to do, and they do about three or four weeks of it. So it's anything from pet care to banking, and it covers various areas. And so this term, um, these two boys are going to run an Alice computer programming com uh, university course, so they're really excited about that. So now we're looking... Oh, yeah, and just one other thing. We're looking at moving towards um, Google Apps for our VLE at school and so I'm at the very early stages with Matt's help um, of developing that and the children are going to be sort of guinea pigs and help me iron out all those issues so very soon they're going to get their username and passwords and they're going to start using the email function and just again iron out all of those issues before we roll it out live to the rest of the staff in school. So we're just looking now at where we're going to go next. So obviously, our, unfortunately, our year sixes are going to leave, which is very unfortunate because we've done all that training. But I did start it towards the end of the year. So um, I'm also thinking about recruiting lower down the school, so maybe threes and fours, maybe having one pupil per class involved. I'm not sure. Um, I've spoken to our head teacher about staff training, so getting them coming after school and running some staff training. Looking forward to that. More clubs, maybe an after school club where they can get a bit more involved. And um, I'm thinking about updating school websites, getting them involved in doing the writing, giving them the privileges of that. So, really good. I love... It's a really good idea. It's worked really well. It's such a simple idea. And um, even there are other coordinators at my school, it's like the maths coordinator saying, hey, maybe we could have maths leaders, you know, doing the same sort of thing, giving the children the, uh, the opportunity to lead learning within their environment. So, that's digital leaders. <laughs>